Hello everyone, myself Rameshwari Holkar and I am center head at Excel Civils Academy. In the previous session, we have started the river Brahmaputra, its origin and its entry in Indian territory. In today's class, we are going to cover the right bank tributary of the river Brahmaputra. So there are seven right bank tributary of the Brahmaputra and also there are some minor tributaries are also there. But for the UPSC perspective, we are going to take more interest to learn about these major seven right bank tributaries. In today's session, we will be covering three important right bank tributaries. So among the seven, the first is the Tista river. Then there is a Jaldhaka river. Third important river, there is a Raidak river. Then important tributary is the Sankosh river. Then there is a Manas, Kameng, as well as the last one is a Subansiri. So these are the seven important major right bank tributary of the river Tista. In today's class, we are going to learn about the Subansiri, Kameng, as well as the river, uh, important uh, third river will be Manas. So now, let's we will start through this map of Brahmaputra. But before entering to the session, I would like to announce that Excel Civils Academy has started its second batch as our first batch is getting very positive and very joyful response because we are giving the quality product and we are ensuring that our students should streamline their preparation along with or according to the expectation of this recent change of the pattern of civil services examination. So we have launched our second course during this a month of phase. We are starting, we are starting with the rolling batch on Saturday and Sunday. So let's now enter with this river Brahmaputra. So the first river we are going to see is the river Subansiri. Now river Subansiri is a trans boundary river. That means it originate beyond the India and also beyond this greater Himalaya. Basically, it originate from the Tibetan plateau. You can see this river Subansiri. It is entering in India between this, cutting this mighty Himalayan ranges. It create a very beautiful gorge once it enter in India. It flows between two important hills. The first hill is Abor hill and other is a Miri hill. So as in the previous class, I have discussed with you in Arunachal Pradesh, there are four hills are there, prominent four hills are there. One is the Dafla, then Miri, Abor and Mishmi. Between this Abor and Miri, this river Subansiri enters in India. You can see this through this map. I'm making it bitter, big, bigger in size. So here from the Tibetan region, this Subansiri originate and it cut through this greater Himalayan, mighty Himalayan range, then it flows between Abor and Miri range through the Hima Arunachal Pradesh. After cutting and crossing this Himalayan range, it enters in the Brahmaputra plain region in the Assam. So once it comes to Assam, it takes downward turn and it confluence with river Brahmaputra in Assam itself. So what are the important facts one need to understand about the Subansiri? It's about its origin. Also remember that this is the largest tributary of river Brahmaputra. Many of the students get confused that Tista is the largest tributary. But remember that Subansiri is the largest tributary of the river Brahmaputra. This is also antecedent river. It simply means that this river was existed before even formation of geological formation of Himalaya. So this is an antecedent river. So these are the four points are very, very important. Its origin, its flow between two hills ranges. It is basically between Abor and Miri. It is Transboundary river, it is largest tributary of Brahmaputra. At the same time, fifth important point is that it is antecedent river. These are the five important points one need to understand about the river Subansiri. Through Google map also, we can go through this Subansiri flow. This is the region of Tibet, Tibetan plateau and then flow of upper Subansiri, lower Subansiri and it is confluencing with the river Brahmaputra after the region of the Zorat. That is about the Subansiri. The next important river that we have is the Kameng River. 
Now coming originate in India, that means it is not a transboundary river. Also remember, it is not an antecedent river. So coming originate in the Arunachal Pradesh itself, but this river is very important in environmental perspective because this river supplies water to three important protected areas. These are protected areas. You can see this Sesa and Eagle Nest Sanctuary along with that Pakke Tiger Reserve, which is also known as a Pakhoi Tiger Reserve. And third important is a Nameri Tiger Reserve or Nameri National Park. So these three important protected areas, this Kameng River supply the water. Now, which are the important points are important? So this river originate in the Arunachal Pradesh in the region of Tawang district. Basically, there is a glacier. You don't need to remember so much of the name of this region or this origination, but you should have at least understanding through which part of this country this Kameng River is flowing, right? You can see the flow of this Kameng. So as I said, it originated in Arunachal Pradesh. After origin from that glacier lake, it flows between two again hills spots one is a dafla hill and other is a aka hill so there is dafla hill and there is aka hill aka tribe is very popular in arunachal pradesh so between two hill ranges or two hill spot this river flows and then it confluence with the river brahmaputra so at the left side of this coming river the capital or the state capital Itanagar is located. Remember that where exactly is the location of Itanagar with respect to the river system of the Brahmaputra. Now you can see that it flows between Dafla and Akka Hills. Also, these are the three important protected areas in this region. Now, one more point which I would like to share with you is that this Kameng River also known as a Jia Bharali River or just Bharali River. Basically, if we study about the Nameri Tiger Reserve, you will find that in the Nameri Tiger Reserve get the water supply from this Jia Bharali River and Jia Bharali River itself is called as a Kameng River. So these are the small facts. Those are important and they are more than sufficient for you if you want to study about the Brahmaputra River system. I have put extra efforts you to get the best information and all consolidated information as I have studied this entire resources from the Kuller as well as GC as well as our NCRTs as well and at the same time from the Google map as well. So now if you see the place where exactly this Pakke Tiger Reserve and Nameri Tiger Reserve is located, you can see there is a Kameng River in Arunachal Pradesh and then it enters in the region of Assam. Before that, there is a Pakke Tiger Reserve in the Assam as well as in the right side there is a Nameri National Park or also Tiger Reserve. So these are the two important protected areas through which this river flows. In the Pakke Tiger Reserve about this Tiger Reserve, National Park, Biosphere Reserve, Heritage Site, we will see that in the future classes. So this is very beautiful picture skew view of this river coming. You can see this two hill spots through which this river is flowing as this river also cut through this greater Himalaya and because of that it create a very beautiful rapid so here the water sports are quite popular in the river of Kameng. And our third last third important river is the river Manas. Now river Manas is also a trans boundary river and also this river has this Manas National Park, basically it is there in the Bhutan. So this is a lifeline, this Manas River is also known as a lifeline of the country of Bhutan. You can see the origin of River Manas. As I said, it is a transboundary river, flows from the western part of Bhutan and then enters in India and confluences with the Brahmaputra in the region of Arunachal Pradesh. Manas Wildlife Sanctuary, Manas World Heritage Site, Manas Tiger Reserve, all of these important tagline this uh, Manas uh, uh, what we say national park has so this is very very important river you can see the important flora and fauna in this region or we can consider the flora is elephant as well as there are cloud and leopard are very popular tigers are very very popular especially Bengal tigers are very popular so this is a Manas tiger reserve then we will see about some questions based on these three rivers I wish that you will solve these questions and you will comment the answer in the comment box below. That will be really encouraging for me. At the same time, you will streamline your preparation. It is not just an entertainment purpose video, but it is definitely very important to 
ensure that your preparation to make it more easy and it is very accessible for you at the same time. So the first question that we have, which among the following is the origin of Subansiri River? The first, Western Ghat, Greater Himalaya, Trans Himalaya and Patkai Range. It's a very interesting question. I want you to comment the, this answer in the comment box below. Second question, which among the following is the largest tributary of the river Brahmaputra? Tista, Subansiri, Manas and Sankosh River. The next question that we have is what would be the main reason for the flood in Assam? This is very application oriented question. The first is the cloud burst in the south bank river of the Brahmaputra. The second option that we have erosion of bank of river Kameng results in the removal of soil, sediments or rock fragments along the banks which result from the high water flow. The third is the Brahmaputra is widest river due to its erosion which leads to sediments and aid for the flood in Assam. So these are the three options that they have given. Now which of the statement given above is are not correct in this context. So these are the three statements and these are the options. Option A only one and two. Option two only two and three. Option C it will be only one and three and D option D will be none of the above. Now, this is a fourth question of this session. In the context of river Brahmaputra, consider the following statement. The first sentence is that, or statement is that, Kameng, Subansiri and Manas are transboundary right bank tributary. Very tricky question, but at the same time, very, very interesting question. Second, river Subansiri flows between Abor and Mishmi hills. Which of the statements given above is are correct? Only one. Only two, both one and two and last option is none of the above. All of these questions are very, very informative, also important. So you should go through this, uh, you know, session multiple times and solve the uh, question and don't feel hesitant to drop your answer because as I said is that through your mistakes only you are able to learn and this will be also very encouraging for me. So by this session we are completed, we have completed the river Manas as well as Kaming as well as Subansiri. Study its origin, its flow, their uh, physiographic feature at the same time biogeographic feature of that system. Stay tuned. Thank you so much.